and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is indexes of sub array sum which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer type and one integer target and what we have to do is basically we have to return the starting and ending index of that sub array whose sum is equal to target okay all right come on one more time we have to return the starting and ending index of that sub array whose sum is equal to target okay all right and we will be getting the first we have to return the first sub array whatever first sub array we can find we have to return that okay all right let's see with this uh, question problem with a test case as well so here we can see one two three seven five this is one array which we are given and target is 12 okay all right and what we have to do first sub array we can find such that if its sum is equal to target we have to return that so if one i will start with one so one two three six six seven thirteen and then it will be always greater than target okay so with one we cannot find a sub array let's try to find with two so two three five and five seven twelve okay so i have got a sub array i have got a sub array this sub array and this is the first sub array which I have got. So what's the starting index? And we have to return the one based indices. Basically, one based indices mean ki, like we start from zero index, but here we will be treating the first index as one. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so in this way, two to four, two to four uh, indexes uh, sum is equal to target. So we will return the starting index that is two and ending index that is four and simply return it into an array. Okay, all right. So this is what we have to do and uh, i think it's a good good problem so uh, let's see the problem approach which we are going to take taking in mind okay, i think the problem statement will be clear okay all right so the first approach which is coming in my mind is the brute force approach we will use two for each two for loops nested inside one another and we will keep on taking the sum okay so how we are going to do that first of all let's say first array is this we will start from one first for loop okay and second for loop will start again from this only from i and it will be going till the last okay and what we will do we will simply have a sum variable which is equal to zero and uh, first of all one will come so one then plus two plus three plus seven and and like if we get any target we will simply return from i to j okay but after that if one we have not got so i will be increased so now i will be i will be pointing to this so again i will start from this two two then three then seven then five taking the sum of all these and checking if it is equal to target at any point if we get we will simply return it okay all right so we have to do that it's a brute force approach but let's see what will be the time complexity of this brute force approach so the time complexity of this brute force approach is n square and uh, if we will see the constraints here so the constraints are 10 raised to the power 6 which means 10 raised to the power 6 ka square is 10 raised to the power 12 and it will definitely give us time limit exceed okay so we have to optimize our approach okay all right so um, let's think of a better approach and guys this problem is a variation of sub array sum problem which we have already done so let's take that reference as well okay so what we are going to do uh, i will tell you a very good example okay let's suppose there is some array which is empty for now okay all right uh, let's suppose till this point till this point the sum uh, of this sub array like from 0 to this point is let's say 6 okay all right and let's say till this point from very starting the sum is uh, let's say 80 okay so what will be the sum of this array what will be the sum of this array guys i want you to tell so the sum of this array will be sum till i index minus sum till 6 which will be equal to uh, 12 here okay all right so basically we have to tell this only we have to tell this till what sub array sum will be equal to target okay but look i can have so there uh, we have three things so let's suppose at any point when i'm till this point when i'm at this index i will have the sum till that index from zero okay all right till that index to zero i will have the sum i also have this target which is currently 12 i also have this we have to find whether there is an sub array whose sum is equal to the total sum minus target we have to find if there is any sub array like from zero sub array starting from zero whose sum is equal to target 
total sum 18 minus 12. So if we have got this 6, we will simply return it. We will simply return the uh, indexes. I hope I have given you a good hint of it and uh, something will definitely would have strike your mind. Let's see this with a dry run and then it will be more clear to you. Okay. All right. So what I will do, this is my array. 1, 2, 3, 7, 5. Okay. All right. Now, uh, first of all, what I will do, I will take some variables. Let's suppose, first of all, I will take a map, which will be telling me, ki, like sum till that what point is what. Okay. Sum or uh, no, like uh, this sum is till what index. Okay. All right. So, and second thing was, which I have to do is basically, I will take a current sum, current sum variable. Okay. Okay. All right. So, first of all, I get one. So, I will do one. And now I will check ki, in map if one minus target 12 is present or not no it is not present so do not do anything and just simply put ki yaar i got one sum i got one sum at zero index at zero index okay all right after that i will again get two so i will update my current sum to two uh, three it will become three and i will check if three is present in map no so three sum i got at one index three sum i got at one index okay all right after that again i get three so now total sum will be what total sum will be six Okay, so total sum is 6 and I have got 6 sum. Let's do this here. I have got 6 sum at 2 index. Okay, all right. And after that, I get 7. So now total sum will be what? 6 plus 7, that is 13. That is 13. Okay, I will check if to cut could current sum is 13 minus target is present in map or not. Target is present in map or not. So 13 minus target is 12, 1. Is 1 present? Yes. One is present. So I have got a sub array whose sum is equal to target. Sub array will be what? Like, look, one sum, one sum was at zero index. Okay. So uh, till this index, sum was one. Till this index, sum is 13. So what will be the sum of between? What will be the sum of between these? This sum will be equal to target. I hope you guys have got this. From zero to, from zero to this point, the sum is 13. Okay. And from zero to first index, the sum is one. So the between them sum will be equal to target. Okay. All right. So what we have to return, what we have to return. So one sum was at zero index. Okay. All right. So till zero index, it was one basically, but if you still see, we have to return one indexed, one indexed. Okay. All right. So for one indexed, what I have to do first thing is zero, but I'm starting my, my new sub array, which whose sum is equal to target is starting from map index plus one map index plus one. And one index I have to do. So again, I have to do plus one. Okay. So it will be basically, I will first of all, uh, fetch the map value and map value will be zero. So I will add two to it. I will add two to it to make it one indexed. Okay. So this will be my starting and whatever I am at this I, I will just add one to it to make it one indexed. So zero, one, two, three and three plus one, four. So this will be my output. This will be my output. I think uh, it will be pretty clear to you now what approach we are going to do and how are we going to handle it. Let's take one more example and think it more thoroughly. Okay. All right. So let, if I will take this example again, so it will be a different one. It will be a one more edge case, which uh, will be handled with this. Okay. With this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's quickly write it half of it. One, two, three, four. 5, 6. Let's take this only. Let's take till 6. And my target is equal to 15. Okay. Target is equal to 15 and current sum is 0. Current sum is 0. Okay. First of all, I will fetch 1. So I ma in map, it is not present. So I will make a map as well. In map, I will add 1 sum is present at 0 index. Okay. All right. So now current sum is 1 as well. Again, I will do plus two. So three, three minus target is not present. Okay. Three sum is also not present in map. So update three sum is at one index. Okay. All right. Again, I will come to this three. So total sum will be what? Six. Total sum is six. Six is present at two index. Okay. All right. After that, I will get four. So six, four, 10. 10 sum is not present. So I will add the four, a 10 sum in map as well. And it is coming at three index. Okay. All right. And after that, I will get this five. So total target will be equal to total sum will be equal to 15 now. Okay. I will check in map whether 15, which, which whether total sum is 15 minus target 15, 
15 15 is present no it is not present but it should be present why because i have got a sub array it is a sub array but since i have not added starting to my map uh, let's suppose so now what i have to do i have to do in that very starting i have to do a map entry with zero sum at minus one index at minus one index okay all right why i am doing this why i am doing this because now if it is present in map i will check if sum which is equal to 15 minus target is equal to 15 is present in map or not so yes it is present and uh, whatever what value i will get from map one minus one okay so as you remember what i told starting index will be the value which i get from map which is minus one add two to it okay this will be my starting and ending will be what current index zero one two three four add one to it five so it will be one to five and i will simply return it i think i have already explained this approach very much and it will be very very clear to you so now let's move on to the code section but before that if you have loved my explanation please subscribe the channel like the video and comment down your feedbacks it really motivates me a lot and i have made a very cool chrome extension for you as well so let's see that Hey guys, let's see the quick demo of the Chrome extension I've built. So suppose I'm solving this very common interview problem container with most water and I'm not able to think of the approach. So what I will do, we can see this watch tutorial button here, which is injected via Chrome extension. So I will simply click on this and a modal will open with the popular tutorials for this problem. I will, I can watch any of them. Let's suppose I want to watch the first one. So we can watch the tutorial here, understand the code and the logic. But let's suppose I want to watch it on YouTube. I will simply click on this and I will be redirected to the YouTube screen where I can watch the tutorial okay same thing is with geeks for geeks as well so i've injected the watch tutorial button here as well so we can simply click on it and watch the tutorials make sure you give it a try and i'm sure you will definitely like it okay all right i hope you have, you have liked the chrome extension and you will definitely download it okay all right so now let's move on to the code section code is very very easy first of all what i will do i have to uh, make some variables first variable will be let's say current sum i will name it current sum is equal to zero okay and i will make a map and it will be of integer type mp is equal to new hash map okay and what i will do first value i will add in map that will be zero and it will be at minus one index okay all right now what i will do i will simply iterate over this whole array i equal to zero i is less than arr dot length i plus plus and after that what i have to do first of all just update my current sum to uh, equal to current sum will be what current sum will be incremented by arr of i okay now what i will check i will check in map if mp dot contains key mp dot contains key what uh, current sum minus target current sum minus target if it is present in map it means i have got a sub array i have got a sub array and we have to simply return it okay all right so how i am going to return it uh, let's declare one array list as well, which will be equal to answer new array list. So simply what I will do, I will add the starting index. Okay. So answer dot add starting index will be what? If you remember, I told you MP dot get what current sum minus target. Basically what value is present in map for this I'm doing current sum minus target and add into it what add two to it add two to it i have already told you why and after that i will add my current index i and add one to it why because we have to make it one indexed we have to make it one indexed okay and simply return our answer simply return our answer no need to iterate again and again otherwise if it is not present what i will do i have to simply add this update add this current sum to my map so mp dot put current sum and index will be i index will be i and at last we have to simply return what if i am come if i have come out of this for loop if i have come out of this for loop it means there is no sub array present with sum is equal to target so what i will do if no such array is possible simply return minus 1 so here we will do answer dot add minus 1 and return answer I think it's pretty basic. Let's try to submit it directly. I hope it will get accepted as well. If you have loved the explanation, please subscribe the channel and like the video and comment down your feedbacks and please download the Chrome extension as well. This code you will get on my GitHub. The link is in the description. Make sure to check it out. I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye.